And there's the man with the plan right there. Check this out, y'all. So I had a meeting this morning. Unfortunately, wasn't here to watch the, the new dozer come off the trailer. But there's our brand new 750. And this guy caught me. I was actually, I was sitting, I was sitting up in the cab. And I said, damn, they didn't even leave me a key. I can't even crank up my brand new no key. dozer. And then I said, well, there ain't no yeah. keyhole. But uh, then I also said, well, hey, nobody gave me a code yet either. So I was like a brand new toy with no batteries. That's right. But it like, I, <laughs> I just had to sit up there in it. But look at this beauty right yeah. here, man. And I'm glad they went ahead and gave us the chrome stack because you remember on I mean, the... Yeah, on yeah the, we, uh, we almost didn't buy the loader. For yeah, that. so we on our big 844K, they sent it with uh, just a standard pipe. I was like, uh -uh, I ain't paying all this money get this loader without no chrome chrome pipe so i guess they remembered that story and went ahead and and put it on this one right here but ain't she pretty y'all aaron went ahead knocked the paint off the blade i see but i was so bummed out because i wanted to film it for you guys you know as it came off the uh off the trailer but i had that stupid meeting this morning and i was unable to to be here for it but uh, nonetheless y'all gonna see plenty of this this big girl right here this dozier we're going to use it all over the site uh, i'm sure we'll use it a little bit in the landfill mainly um, it's going to be used in the excavation areas where we're digging the sand to take to the plant but kind of a universal machine as i said in another video our d68 our komatsu she's being retracked right now the undercarriage was just shot on it and uh she's got a good many hours so it was just it was just time so we went ahead test drove a couple we were thinking of going with cat but um i don't know you know i saw dirt perfect on his channel running a good bit of deers and then we just decided to make the call they brought us one to try out and the price point it was a little bit cheaper than the cat but this low ground pressure so you see these nice wide tracks on this girl here really help out in the sandy conditions that we have right here are around here but beautiful beautiful dozer and i believe this is uh this year's model let's see here yep 2024 don't get no newer than that at least not right now it don't this one's gonna come in especially handy because we went ahead and got the six-way blade on it so for things like doing the slopes we can turn that blade and peel that dirt whichever way we want to going down the slopes of the landfill just going to be a, a great all-around universal machine i was just uh ch checking out this blade connection apparatus up here man it's hella beefy this is going to be freaking awesome i'm excited and i believe this one's got a 13 foot blade we'll have to double check with aaron he had a phone call but i think this one's got a 13 foot blade in it but just a fantastic looking machine. Tons of glass up there so you can see what you're doing. Aaron, you ran her this morning? Yep. Where'd you, where'd you take her to? We went up on the hill. Which, uh, which, which hill? <laughs> that one up there. Okay. <laughs> Push some of that coffee down. I got you. Oh, okay. Two. Yeah, I see they're still over yonder. Mm -hmm. Moving coffee. About halfway through. Beautiful day today, man. Well, tell me your favorite thing on this John Deere, man. Cause I was just telling the folks before you got your phone call, we brought the cat. Well, we have a cat here, mm -hmm. but um, we just decided to go with this John Deere. I'm kind of glad, glad that we did. Oh, it's just it's very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. You can see a lot out of the cab. That's what I was just saying. Tons mm -hmm. and tons of glass. We'll climb up in the cab just a second here. Maybe somebody will give us a code. If you ask, <laughs> if we say please, <laughs> maybe somebody will give us a code to crank up our own our own bulldozer. I love the wide tracks on that thing, man. Oh yeah. That's gonna do that's gonna do really good around here. What you doing working on it already? Uh, plate here is down here when it should be up there. Do what? So this this plate's supposed to be uh up here, it covers the cylinder up to keep crap from getting on it. Oh, they kinda of forgot that, huh? Yeah, I guess they left it off. Stick it on there. Well, I don't think I need that bolt, but, um, but maybe, maybe. I'm gonna put there it, it in is the right blade. there. So 
throw a blade out and fill it with dirt. Yeah, they kind of forgot that, didn't they? Let me get out your way there, sir. Yeah, man. Wrong, wrong size. Why didn't you park closer? <laughs> oh, it's always, always my fault, man. Always my fault. Well, while Aaron's going to grab that other socket, let's climb up in this thing. And one thing they have changed on the dozers, you know, we've always or traditionally had a step right there, but I guess to be safer, they put the steps going up here. So you step on the cylinder guard and you can grab hand right here and then go right onto the track so take me a little bit of getting used to but i guess it is safer oh man she still smells new y'all golly this is fancy right here look at these controls you know what though that feels better just the ergonomics of it because coming right off this elbow pad right here your hand just kind of naturally fits right there you got your track turn of course and i've got to learn all the stuff on here here's our little key right here but that's going to be the blade tilt right there and then of course up and down on the blade but i like that you know standard like our old komatsu was straight up and down which you know doesn't you don't think it would cause that much fatigue but this is just a more natural kind of flow for your hand right here then over here on this one, let's see what all we got. Of course, we got track turn. This is probably going to be for speed. Because this thing not only has forward and reverse, but you can change the speeds you got there. And of course, that'll be our forward and reverse. And then our horn right there. Yeah, okay. There's our little diagram down yonder. So yeah, that is the, the speed for forward and reverse. Pretty nifty, man. But yeah up here looking around i was like damn they didn't even leave the key in here for me but there is no keyhole everything is digital that's how our loader is too you punch in your user code and then just uh, fire up right there you guys a little i assume touch screen we'll find out in a minute i guess there's a touch screen display up there and there is no brake pedal that's kind of interesting so I guess just as soon as you let off the throttle, she's going to stop. Got your kick kick stands up here. You can put your feet if you're going down through something super steep or you just uh, are in the zone, as we call it, and you're just blading away. Now, this is super nice, y'all. Of course, got AC and heat, radio up there. But look at the visibility that you've got in this cab, man. Tons of glass which is crazy important in this environment around here where you got general public walking around and it's just going to help you as an operator too just see everything 360 degrees i did see a camera on the back back there so i'm sure that'll pop up on the display too but man this is really really a nice machine dun 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 how much money you got in your wallet about twenty-seven dollars. Right, it's a four-digit code, and it's forty-seven dollars per digit. <laughs> well, I get half a half a digit. <laughs> As this this exact same layout on the uh, loaders, ain't it? Yeah. So you got to hit the green. Yep. And then the load. And you got to wait uh, until it asks you for the password up here in front of you. Oh, okay. Park brakes on. Got to put our seatbelt on. We can turn the. AC off for right now. All right. Security logins. Can we show this on YouTube? Uh, Probably better I don't know. not. This is, I don't the, know. this is the generic John Deere code that'll crank anything up. Oh, okay. So well, then we probably shouldn't put that on YouTube. You gotta hit the enter key straight down below the six. Uh, this one. Okay. Probably, yeah. And then start. Yeah. And then start. Oh, yeah. You know the horsepower on this thing? I, I was going to look it up. I don't remember from the... It's actually, it's not horsepower. It's gear power. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice one. I really don't know. Yeah, I don't know it's, either. Uh, 
It's got more pushing power than the 65, I feel like. Does it? Than the Kamatsu, the older machine. And the 65 is a bigger machine. It's this, slightly, this isn't is, it? Uh, this is the same comparable horsepower. Okay. You know, newer model. The D65 is just a bigger footprint, a little bit longer. Gotcha. The same size blade. All right. 13 feet, 4 inches. Th this is pretty simple, man. I was just looking at the layout. It's going to take me a little bit of getting used to, you know, having the, the handle turn a little bit sideways. And then over here, for sure, this is, I'm probably going to rip this out of the... It takes a minute. Yeah, because I'm, I'm used to clicking it back and clicking it forward. Yeah. But everything is uh, a lot less movement, which is, you know, going to create less fatigue on the on the operator. Horn works. Yep. All right. Learn me something else, buddy. What else I got to know? So you gotta put your seatbelt on to move. Okay. It won't let you go anywhere without that. Seatbelt on. Yeah. And then next, all you do, you hit the park button and turn your brake off. Okay. And then uh, hit the bunny rabbit, and it's gonna run it wide. Go put your foot on the accelerator. Okay. Now, yeah. now I can control it down yeah. there. Full reverse, and then you pick your gears right here. Yeah. Just very similar to the cat. Yep. Okay. Sweet. That's it. Take it, uh, take it all the way up to the very, very top. I okay. got uh, Chuck's coming with a mechanic to look at something that was doing on the hill. Okay. It's making a funny noise. Uh oh. But what kind? What kind of noise should I listen out for? What was it doing? Uh, I don't know. It, it's like a hard grinding noise when you're going down the steep hill. Yeah. But it's only doing it blade first because I, I pushed up one of the older amps, I pushed it up to save all the play. Yeah. It made no noise, I went to the top, started pushing the coffee down. It sounds like the track is full of dirt. Huh. Uh, and I think it's actually in the brake system, maybe. Okay. So, we have it on top when it gets here, then we can put the tech in it, probably run it down the hill. And Let it figure it out. All right, I'll meet you up there. All right, I'll call you. See ya. So hopefully you just heard that there. Aaron said our brand new Dozer's making some kind of noise. Um, so we're going to take it up to the top of the landfill. Tech's coming. Get checked out and see what's going on. <laughs> we just got to make sure we put it in reverse and not forward. Because I was already like, all right, I don't want to hit my truck, but I ain't got no brake pedal. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and click her in the reverse. Yep, and our camera comes on. Wait for the traffic to go by. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit. Yeah, I definitely got to get used to these controls. So yeah, you bend it in towards you to go to the right when we're backing up, and then of course to the left to, to go left. I raise my blade up a little bit more so we don't drag the ground. Okay, yeah, so you don't need a brake pedal as soon as you let off that gas. <laughs> I'm still trying to twist this knob, about to hit Aaron. But as soon as you let off that gas, she pretty much stops. All right, we might need to turn our air on just a little bit because they're getting a greenhouse effect in here. She's a little bit hot. Let's see if we can fit. I think, uh, well, somebody with tracks has already been through here, so we'll see if we can fit through the, the barriers there. Hurt, <laughs> I didn't make it. I, got, I can't get used to that turning, y'all. Let's see. Come on, baby. There we go. I can't do two things at once. I'm trying to film and knock down, not knock down the roof. We're good to go now, though. We made it. And Aaron's got us in uh, forward 1.8. So we can go ahead and bump that up a little bit. Let's try 2.2 and see what that does. Oh, yeah. We're moving along now, y'all. Got to turn us on a little bit more air. 
this thing sealed up good all that sunshine coming through that's another thing we'll probably have to do i like to get all the machines tinted not only just you know to help keep it cool during the summertime for the operator it also protects all the interior of your equipment pretty good too see old buddy sam up there still on the kamatsu today Anderson's in the Volvo. They're still moving that coffee. They made a hell of a dent on it though so far. I'll probably let Anderson stop right here and let Anderson go first so we don't block the road. We'll follow him on up. And while we're sitting here, we'll just look at the dashboard a little bit. Of course, this is a tier four final, so we got to have def. We're good on fuel, and we just got all of our, our temperature gauges right there. Let's see, that's going to be your main menu right there. I'm not even going in that yet because I'll probably screw something up. And then we need to go ahead and pump our seat up a little bit because it's bottomed out. I don't think it's ever been pumped up before. This is an adjustment up and down on our seat. There we go. That's more better there. It'll give us a little bit of bounce, a little bit of cushion. Come on, Anderson. There was the horn. Go ahead, buddy. You go first. Gonna follow right behind you, buddy. Golly, I still is trying to twist that handle. That is gonna take a long time to get used to. Especially because for years, you know, I've been just used to twisting it to turn, and now it's just simple left-right operation. supposed to be way back there and somehow unbeknownst to me he has found his way to the very top of the closed landfill man good gracious what in the world but if you think that's bad one time and I about lost my you know what on this guy down that dirt berm going down I-20 I had a tractor trailer driver trying to find the loading dock he got stuck as chuck down at the very bottom I had to get down there and pull him out but I mean it just never ceases to amaze me how people just uh, can't follow the signs but whatever at least he's not stuck but yeah he was way up here up on the top of the landfill it's supposed to be way back there there's plenty of signs everywhere. I mean, huge landfill this way, arrow, English and Spanish. So I still, I, I'm still scratching my head to figure out how that dude made it all the way up here. I saw Anderson talking to him, and I thought maybe it was a service tech, but then I saw that trailer, I said, holy crap, the customers have made it all the way up here. Anderson's way here let him come on through and then I'm probably I'm not gonna run this dozer until the uh, until the tech gets here just because we got something going on as you heard Aaron say it seems like it might be in the braking system or something like that but the tech should be here any minute and uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch her to neutral give her the old turtle and I should idle it down yep and we can let go of our throttle we'll set our blade down and get us a ride back down to the bottom i hope aaron didn't forget me maybe he's just waiting on the tech i don't know but anyway while we're up top here let's go look and see uh from the last video i showed you guys we're removing all this coffee aaron evidently brought the bulldozer up here to give her you know a run through that's when he discovered that noise but he did get some of the coffee pushed so let's go take a look and see how that's turning out oh yeah this is turning out good right here you guys look how pretty and rich that is he made it about uh halfway down the slope 
they got some real good coverage though man they've done a lot of work in just a day or so gonna get all this bladed on down this is where that six um six way blade is going to come in really handy as we can turn this material kind of put it where we want it and then we're going to come up here and get this thing planted get some grass on it get it get it pretty and stop all this erosion <laughs> i hope i came to the right spot he did say take it up top right i don't know man they forgot about me and i tell you what i am full as all get out As a matter of fact dad wanted me to ask you guys because every winter um usually two two or three times a winter we cook some good old southern soul food today we had hog malls not balls but m-a-w-s hog malls liver pudding oh my god so good but dad was asking you know how many of my subscribers eat this kind of stuff and i said you know i have no idea so drop it in the comment section below just curious if any of you guys out there i know it's a southern thing but we eat every part of the pig dad always said everything goes to use other than the squeal and uh, that's true today we had pig ears hog balls like i said liver pudding so drop it in the comments below i'll be just curious how many of you guys eat some of that good old southern good for you stick to your ribs kind of food well since it's been about 10 minutes and nobody's come to get me yet and y'all the only people i got to talk to figured we'd come over here and do just a little update you see down in the in the new cell there uh the video we did a couple weeks ago about the asbestos that job's still going on see they've dug up a good bit more cover material out of the floor that we had to cut orlando's still pushing asbestos down in that little area taking that dirt flipping it over and covering it up and then i uh, don't know if y'all can hear it but or see it it's so far away but right about there hopefully my fingers are the right place on the screen you see the big roto chopper b66 they're over there grinding up some green waste got some pretty decent piles of mulch built up for the spring and uh where the hell's my ride at well i guess let's walk over here to the edge i see uh some kind of boom sticking up out of the uh, of the horizon there i believe that's a dude who has a self-offloading truck they do some kind of um emergency management fema type cleanup work let's walk over there and we'll check that out and maybe i can see aaron down there and see what the hold up is we got our backup 826c sitting up here ready to go to work if needed my main man david over there with the hyundai magnet doing his daily daily service so what we'll do since we only have the one beautiful service truck here the guys will take turns coming up fueling up getting deaf blowing out all the the filters greasing up that type of stuff so everybody's kind of got their allotted time when they break off from the landfill come up here to do their daily service okay so that's not the same truck i was thinking about and i apologize if the wind is crazy up here but it's blowing pretty good up on top of this hill hopefully y'all can hear me that's pretty interesting rig right there it's a roll-off dumpster he loads himself with the grapple and i guess has the ability to offload too if need be but that's kind of neat he can load himself with the grapple and then just move the grapple up out of the way raise that body up and dump out all the waste I've not seen that one before this is the guy i was thinking about he's climbing up in the back of his truck now and uh he sits up there and has to physically offload himself i've never seen him pull that trailer along but that's uh it's quite a bit of work you know it takes him a little bit of time to offload that truck that's a much better idea right there i like that that's pretty slick all right i thought the dude was going to get on his machine and offload himself but he's uh for some reason greasing his equipment on the landfill tipping floor and that's really not the best place to be servicing your machinery is uh on an active tipping floor so i may have to talk to him about that because he's kind of clogging up clogging up the works there a little bit and taking up some some valuable space to do his daily daily maintenance you never know what you're gonna see out here that's for damn sure hey that right there 
right. Did you see that dude up here with the pickup truck and trailer? No. He, he was all the way up here. Oh, just now? Yeah. No, I didn't even see that. As I was coming up. Yeah, he's left now, oh, but. It's just sitting down right here. Yeah, and then I see that dude. I was <laughs> talking about it. I was waiting on him to start uh, offloading himself, but he's doing his daily maintenance. Oh, yeah? Up here in the landfill. Yeah, he's, he's at least he's greasing his equipment. Oh. I mean, hell of a hell of a place to do it, but that's the best time to do it. Though. I guess he just he walks across <laughs> the trash where he can reach everything. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Kind of clogging up our works a little bit. Now he's hopping in his seat. Yeah, here he goes. Yeah, that's a long process there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Now that's a pretty slick rig. I like that one. It dumps. It's good for loading yourself. And yeah. Then you can dump out. And get yeah. Out of here. Yeah, I've not seen that one before. Now there's the dude in that white and black Ford. He's the one. He made it all the way up here some kind of way. Yeah, I was like, what in the world? Somebody, uh, I think it was a Saturday or something, they, they, uh, they went around the bottom down there and they came up. What? The back side. They got stuck up here and then they had to walk from here all the way down to Jesus' <laughs> house down there. They knocked on his door and, uh, hey, hey we stuck. Here pulled him out. Yeah. I was telling about the time, too. I don't know if you were here or not, but that tractor trailer went down that berm. He was trying to find the loading dock. Tractor okay. trailer went down the I-20 sand burn. Uh -uh. Went down to the bottom, got stuck, and you know what? Uh -uh. Had to go get him out, so. Uh -uh. You, you, you never know. I mean, when you got this many people coming in a day and people just, I, I don't know. I don't know, I, I have no explanation. They just kind of go wherever. All right, well, our tech just showed up from Dobbs Equipment and <laughs> You know, you get super quick response time on delivery day when you buy a brand new machine and something goes wrong with it. Not saying they wouldn't do that, you know, under normal circumstances on an old, older machine, but when you spend that much money on a brand new dozer and it's making a noise and uh, they want your continued business, they do a pretty damn good job of showing up quickly. Again, not saying they wouldn't do that uh, under normal circumstances but we got him here we're going to go up talk to the tech let aaron run this thing yeah i'm sure he's up there explaining them to him explaining to them now about the noise that it was making so hopefully it's gonna uh, replicate or still do it you know it's kind of like that old you take your car to the mechanic and it was making this noise but now it's not uh, so we're gonna go see what i haven't heard it myself i didn't hear it when we were tracking up aaron was saying it's just on the slope so let's see what uh, what she'll do I better not forget my brand new expensive John Deere hat. All right, let's go over here and see if she'll make the noise Aaron was talking about. We got the, our tech here to listen as well. <clears throat> Man, this coffee still <laughs> smells so damn good. And it's a little chilly today. You're making me want another cup of coffee. nothing myself yet y'all but i know i'm on the wrong side of this damn dozer because that wind just come across there as aaron was backing up blue coffee all in my eyes it I didn't really hear nothing. 
something. Did y'all hear it? I did. Huh? It's kind of, it kind of sounds like the gears whining. In, you know, in the planetary? Okay. This is coffee? Yeah, coffee ground. But there was oil in it though? It's got oil in it, but it was low. Okay. You just you just heard it from that one side, Aaron, or could you tell? It's not like it's just this side. Just that side? Huh. Well, just being a little low though wouldn't wouldn't cause it to make that kind of noise, I wouldn't reckon, would you? I don't know, you never can tell really. Right. But Neil, I was just it's a kind of stupid question. So you got your planetary gears on that side that you checked, and then what? What would you call this whole assembly here? Like, what are you checking right there now? This, this right here is the actual final drive. Yeah. Um, where your gears come from, your shafts from your hydraulic motors hook into your final drives. Yes, sir. You got a fork brake mounted on each side on the inside right here. Yeah. And. That actually turns the final drive. Okay. You got big gears in the final drive, and then on the outside, the outboard part of it is just the planetary. Planetary gears. It's uh basically just a um a gear reduction. Okay. Is what it is. I got you. All right. Now, now we know here. Now we know. We don't have to look in the book. Yep. Now we know. The more you know. The more you know. That's the other channel. The more you know, the more you grow. Well, y'all, it's still a little undetermined on the noise, but I've got to go pick up my son here in a minute. But what they said is that those, uh, the final drives, as you heard the mechanic explain, were just a little bit low. Now, you know, it still concerns me a little bit because I don't think it should be making that kind of noise, even if it was low. But it's a brand new machine. I'm sure if there is something going on, it's going to make it, they'll make it right. And appreciate them coming out here in such a hurry to take a look at it they got the lube truck coming but lube truck's going to take probably an hour or so before it gets here and i can't wait around on it so i'll keep you guys posted in the next video i'll let you know what the outcome was but other than that appreciate you guys hanging out with us today and we'll see you on the next video later